What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory. Two things to get on with before we get into the draft. First things first, if you want any of the brand new Nepo Designs t-shirts, check out the link in the description below. There's new summer colours, new design. Use Nepo at checkout for a discount on your sales. And second of all, because this is pretty much the last big week for players in terms of footies and MLS team of the season until Tuesday, if you guys want to see a Draft to Glory every single day... Let's smash 7777 for likes on this video. If we get over 7,777 likes, I will upload a Draft of Glory every single day. So in yesterday's Draft of Glory, we won it with the 442 regular. I'm tempted. I, I like the 41212 wide, but the 442 is so much easier to hybrid that I think we're going to go with this again. Um, so here we go. We get as our captains. Ooh, let's take Legend Best. We don't take Legends often. So we'll go with George Best, and that really does allow us to go with anyone else as our strikers and midfielders. Um, Diego Costa is a bit meh. I might go with this Tevez card. Yeah, we'll go with Tevez. We'll see, because, you know, we could... Uh, what are we going to have for midfield? Actually, that might have been a mistake. I mean, we could go with Casemiro here, and then maybe put Tevez left center, left striker, or on the bench. But we're not going to take Inle. We're not going to take Luis Alberto. Uh, Inland's actually got a pretty decent card. Medium, medium, six foot tall. Um, it wouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Top Owl as well wouldn't be too bad. Medium, high, six foot two. Top Owl's actually got a sick card. Diara as well, a sick card. But I think we're going to go with Casemiro. Medium, medium, six foot. What's he compared to Top Owl? A little less defending, a little less physical. A bit more passing, a bit more shooting, a bit more dribbling. And a little less pace. But I think in terms of what we can do with Casemiro, the options are far better. Now, in a right back, oh, wow, there we go. In my opinion, we take that uh, team of the season, Carver Howe, and uh, we go with that La Liga down the right-hand side and maybe something different down the left-hand side. So Elustondo is going to be our centre-back. And then in net, we'll go down the left-hand side after. We're going to take... Do we take Reyna? Yes, yeah, Spanish. We've got another Iron Man of the Match. Look at that. Three Iron Man of the Match. One legend, one team of the season so far. For our left striker. Oh, you can't not take the 97 striker, Ronaldo. And he links that right-hand side up perfectly, which just opens up for pretty much anything down this left-hand side. Um, we've got the Krykoviak. I tell you what, let's take Krykoviak. And we'll see if we can get... Some maybe that Lacazette, maybe the PSG Ebro, maybe the 98 team of the season Ebro on the bench. And if we could get ourselves like a David Luiz or Thiago Silva here, and there is David Luiz, ah, oh, but there is Pepe who actually works out better for us in this sense. Boom, because Pepe gets strong links from both Carvajal and Casemiro. We've actually got now four Real Madrid players. The only problem we have at this stage is that Pepe Reina isn't really going to fit the team too well. So we've got, wow, look how many Iron Man of the matches we've got. That's crazy. So we've got a lot of Iron Man of the matches. Now we're left with a bit of a dilemma. We could take Guy, who would get a strong link to Elistondo. We could then, like, because Krykoviak doesn't really do much there, we could change into a La Liga left-hand side as well as right-hand side. We could take Felipe Luis, who, again, would get links with Elistondo, but wouldn't really get much else there. Or we could take Kozawa, who the PSG link could be strong. We'll take him, but we're going to need to get lucky on our left mid. We get Perisic there. Another, uh... see, Gaitan works. See, now, now I'm sitting and thinking we should have gone Felipe Luis because Gaitan would have got perfect chem. Felipe Luis would have got perfect chem. Tevez would have got seven chem. And it would have just been the centre midfielder that we lost on. I kind of want to take Perisic just because of how good of a card he is. We have got seven Iron Man of the Match in our team so far, guys. I didn't plan on taking Iron Man of the Match. It just kind of happened. We get, oh, wow. We've, you, you, like, we get Futis Mares, he has team of the season. Futis Buffon, he has team of the season. Team of the season, uh, Benzema, boom. We get ourselves Benzema and Ronaldo as our two strikers. This is turning into be an incredible team. Okay, it's going down that La Liga route that not too many people are keen on, but I can't, you know, it, like, I have to go with what works, ultimately. Um, in this instance, we could take... Who's better here? Pascal? We're going to take Pascal here. Because I think putting him here gives us mad chem. Because he gets a link to uh, a link to Perisic. So they'll both be on seven chemistry. The biggest problem for us right now is the goalkeeper and Krajkoviak in midfield. We're going to need to fix those two positions. Ooh, we could take... We could take Bartra, 
and or, P or PK basically because at that point we then get the Spanish link into the goalkeeper with the centre back that we're going to use. Bartra has less defending, way less physical, less passing, less shooting, more dribbling and more pace. High medium six foot and PK is high medium six four. We'll go with PK. We'll pop him in there. It's going to keep the same uh, same chemistry for now. Um, just swapping those two over. We lose chem if we swap those over because Pepe needs the links. Fair play. And next up we get. Um, I mean, we could take Rico here. Rico goes in the midfield instead of Krajkoviak. We get ourselves 99 chemistry and 89 rated team currently. Still a long way to go as well. A lot to change. Um, do we go? With, Royce doesn't work. That left hand side is all right for right now. Um, we could take Bale. Bale does, like Bale fits into the team instead of George Best, but. I, I want to use Best, no question about it. Hector doesn't fit into the team, unfortunately. We can take Bale as a super sub, I think. Um, we've still got the seven positions remaining. I'm really hoping we can do something with some of these players here. What have we got here? No goalkeeper that helps us. So we'll take the footies Leno, uh, just in case we go Bundesliga down that left-hand side, which I don't think we're going to do. We get ourselves Mario Gaspar here, who we'll take. Now, Mario Gaspar uh, doesn't help yet unless we play... I actually don't think this will help, but if we did that and then put Bale here, that puts us down to 94, so that doesn't really help. That puts us up to 94 with George Best at left mid. So we'll keep George Best there for now. We'll keep Bale on the right for now. We'll get ourselves Tevez and Perisic on the bench. If we could get, like, um, I don't know if there are any good Inter Milan left backs. I can't remember off the top of my head, but if we could get someone to fit, guys, I'll st I'm, hap I'm happy to put Krajkoviak back into the team if it fits. Um... Bonucci doesn't help because he's a centre-back, not a left-back. Jardel will probably take just because he's the better version of what we could take here. He's the best player there. We have we started off with so many eye man of the matches and we've slowly but surely came down through. Now I'm going to take Gomez and put him in midfield instead of, uh, instead of Raiko because he's just a better player. Um... I am still hoping for maybe a better midfield. We get Johan Kabay, we get Morales, doesn't really help. Morales has actually got a nice card and he actually does help. He puts our chemistry up to 100. And in that instance, I'm going to put George Best on the right-hand side and keep Bale on as a super sub. Because we could bring Bale on as a centre midfield if we need it for Casemiro or Gomez. Two spots left. First spot is going to be Aranguiz, just because he's I man of the match. And last spot, but not least, we're going to take... Let's take Depay. Let's take Depay for some uh, so, some uh, some good super subage. So the team is down to a 187. It probably could get out to a 188. Uh, who have we got this low? Depay. That, that's actually it. So it's, it is a 187. But I'm going to put Arangiz on the bench. It's a shame. Like even if I wanted to go like Kazar on that left hand side, I didn't have Ibra to put in there. So we've kind of had to go for this. Uh, Full Liga team with one legend and Pepe Reina. But we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight I Man of the Match cards on here. We've got Bale, Depay, Krajkoviak. Krajkoviak will make a good centre mid or a good centre back if I need him to come on as a centre back. Six foot one tall. Tevez and Perisic as attacking options. We've got a really nice team here. I really like it. Now, what do we need for chemistry? We need... Ultimately, we need a Spanish manager. A Spanish manager would benefit us the most... And we don't get a Spanish manager. So now we need a Serie Do we have a Serie manager? Yes, we do. So we'll take him just so Pepe Reina gets up to that, I think, 8 chemistry. And that puts us on a 187. Which isn't bad. It's not great. It's not bad. But, uh, you know, it could be a lot worse. Let's see. Let's just have a look what we do get. So, yeah, Pepe Reina on a 7. We got the uh, the the fullback. On, I'd probably prefer Carvajal on 6 chem and... Mario Gaspar on 10 chem because Carver House is so much better that he won't feel the neglection of the chemistry as much. Um, and then these guys are the same no matter what. So there you go, guys. That is the team. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys. Our first opponent of the day has got a 187 team. Team of the season, Ronaldo. Footies, Loris. Uh, I man of the match, Rodriguez. Team of the season, Jardel. It, uh, man of the match, Varane. He's got a non-rare, a rare. A team of the season, a team of the year, an inform, an eye man of the match, a man of the match, and a footies. What a team he's got. But he's five at the back, which I don't like to see. Um, sometimes I struggle against five at the back for obvious reasons. And the way I play, uh, if I concede one, 
I'll most likely go on attacking and then end up conceding two, three, or four. But game one, let's go. Great work from Benzema. Ronaldo is not going to be able to get there for James Rodriguez. He's got to run down the right-hand side. He's still got it there. That's a big tackle from PK, and we've got a great counter-attack on here. Karen Benzema is through. That's a ball. It's around the defender. Oh, Benzema just can't quite get there. The keeper clears oh, it. Very unlucky with that. I'm instantly seeing that Casemiro and Gomes aren't pacey enough for what I want to do. They're not. We've got Ronaldo here, though. This is surely going to be 1-0. Oh, my God. What a save from Laurie. Surely, though. Oh, my God. We couldn't get the rebound. And somehow he keeps that out. And I thought there might have been a penalty in there as well. But the referee decided not to give it. And uh, not a lot we can do about that. Here we go with Ronaldo, though. He gets into the space. Luka Modric. I should have done the finesse shot or the fake shot. That's great. That is great from Andre Gomes. And he shoots. And Lloris saves. And Lloris is keeping my opponent in the game right now. I definitely feel like I'm going to need to change one of the centre midfields, if not both. Morales with a great ball in. There is Ronaldo. He's hit the bar. How have I not scored yet? Here is Benzema. And that's going to go out. Oh, no. It's back to Benzema. Oh, my God. I should have just literally should have just turned around and shot. Should have just turned around and pressed the shoot button. And we could potentially have been in the lead. And uh, I feel like we deserve to be in the lead at this stage. But uh, we're going to get countered here. And this is the problem I have with playing against five at the back. Because, no, keeper, stay on your line. Keep up, please. Got. George Best, he's away. No chance Jardel's keeping up with him. He's into the space. He's, is he going to keep the ball? Surely that was foul. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let it slide on this occasion. That's a great ball out to Ronaldo. Oh, God, here we go. We're in trouble here. And this is my problem. I've been battering this guy the whole game. And he gets one chance and it takes two deflections and goes into the back of the net. And that's why I hate playing against five at the back. Because they, all they do is counter and counter and counter. And uh, we really should have been like one or two nil up. We've had a few shots off the bar. We've had the keeper make a couple of big saves. We've missed the sitter. We've had just some general like good pressure. But we are unable to uh, take the lead. And now we are behind, which could obviously be uh, hugely problematic. I, should, I really should have got a skill move away there. Let me go attacking. Because not being attacking isn't, say, isn't helping me, you know. And he's going to cut that across again. And that's his second chance now. And he's got a corner from it in 30 minutes. If I end up losing this game, I will be very, very upset with myself. Because this guy isn't very good. Um, I just, I'm just not playing good myself. And I, I don't like this formation, got to be honest. It, it, even though it's such a minimal change from the 4-4-2 that we won with before, it's actually like a massive difference in how the team plays. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of how the 4-2-4, the 4-4-2, sorry, is playing. They're actually more attacking threats right now than both of my wingers. I don't think... Uh, Best has touched the ball like once or twice. And my left, my left wing has touched the ball also like once or twice. And here we are again. Benzema, that's a lovely tackle from PK. Oh, God. Not like this, EA. Oh, God. A tackle here yeah, is going to be two. Oh, my God. Oh, so we find ourselves 2-0 down, guys. That's really disappointing. I tackled him a couple of times on the box. Just couldn't get rid of the ball. Uh, he capitalised on my mistakes. I've got to go and get myself a two better players in midfield here because Gomez and Casemiro aren't doing it. I'm going to put in Tevez and Gareth Bale straight away. And if this makes a big enough difference for me, um, I might make those subs straight away going forwards if we can pull this game back. It's a lot, a lot to ask for so far uh, just because of how far behind we are now. But I, I want to take it slow. I don't want to rush. I don't want to panic. You know, We've still got a long time to go in this game. And again, I just don't have uh, I just don't have anything to keep up with Ronaldo here. George Best isn't enough. Obviously, uh, Mario Gaspar down the right hand side isn't enough. Felipe Luis has a good ball into James Rodriguez. That's a big save. He gets the rebound. It's three 0 and uh, this is game over. I'm not going to come back from this. I've let I've left it way too late to make the subs, and now that I'm attacking, I mentioned it. I literally said it as as the as the game was coming in, as uh, you know, as he got the. Uh, as I saw the five of the back team show up, I said my biggest problem is if I concede one, I'll be in trouble. And I conceded one first, even though I had a few chances to go, uh, to go in the leads. And that has undoubtedly caused me trouble. Don't get me wrong, we've still got a chance. Not much of a chance, but we do still have a chance. It's just uh, not a very big chance and not a very good chance. Especially when my skill moves don't come off. No, come on, Bale. There we go. That's more like it. 
That's a foul ref. Yes, we'll get a free kick here. 55, uh, 55 minutes in. If we can get one back, I'm confident we'll be able to do it. But we need to get one pretty quick. And this has to be it from Ronaldo. There we go. 3-1. And uh, I don't want to say back in the game because this guy is putting on a good performance. He's defensively very solid. He's offensively very good. And as I said, I'm biting on his skill moves. You know, every time he does a skill move, I'm falling for it. So he's creating chances. He's, uh, he's outplaying me, I guess, uh, tactically. Um, he's done too many tricks now. There we go, Gaspar. That's what I like to see. And then through is Benzema. This has got to be a goal. Benzema! Oh my god, you've got to be joking. I've hit the bar again. There we go. 3-2. 15 minutes to go. We are right back in this game, guys. I should have scored with Benzema before there. I, I wanted to finesse it when he pulled the keeper. But at the same time, I didn't want to finesse it when he pulled the keeper. Just because... Uh, just because if I, if I hit the shot and the keeper saved it, I've wasted a chance. So I thought, let me try and drill it. Let me try and get in there and drill it and, uh, you know, work it well. And fortunately for me, it actually came back. Yo, Ronaldo, go get that. If Benzema's not going to get that, there we go. Let's go, Ronaldo. We've got one over at the far post. Oh, it's fallen to, uh, fallen to the wrong man there. That's not where I aimed it. I'll take that, though. Nice, Ronaldo. Nice, Ronaldo. Oh, my God. Matthew has been an absolute thorn in my side this whole game. He's been so good for my opponent. Let's get a good ball in. That is a great ball. Pepe. PK is going to get it. Into Mario Gaspar, of all people. Oh, Mario Gaspar doesn't have it in him. He just doesn't have what I need. Yes, I am. Lovely work. Carver House steals it. Five minutes to go. Oh, that's poor. That is so poor. That's a big tackle. Oh, my God. No way. No way. Game. You've got to be joking. Not only was that a huge tackle, the ref gave it as a foul and played him an advantage. And all our hard work trying to get back into this game has been ruined. I thought that was a huge tackle. That's really unfortunate, especially because the pass that I gave to give that away, I like I aim the pass up into the space and the, the, the players just stay stagnant. And that's that. That is going to be game there. I'm not going to get back. Even if I score again, it's going to be too little too late. And uh, that's dirt. It's like, oh, that's, this is frustrating for me. I'm really annoyed with myself. Obviously, I've let myself down to concede those, those uh, three goals really kind of early on in the game. Just kind of put myself on the back foot. Um... And uh, I, I, I called it. I said if I concede the first goal, it's going to be a problem for me. And I did concede the first goal. And it was a problem for me. Definitely pulled it back in the second half. I was just unable to take my chances. Pepe Reina there getting a, a 5.8. We get 444 coins for it. In terms of chances, he had six shots, five on target and scored four. I had seven shots, six on target and scored two. And that's what I'm saying. Like the, It felt like it was a much closer game. He had a lot of possession just because of the way he was carrying himself. But there you go, guys. So we're losing game one in Draft to Glory today, which is disappointing. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to get something good in a pack. We get a silver players pack and two gold packs. We're going to see what we can get. Hopefully, something decent pops up. You never know. You never know. You, you know... I've, I opened, uh, oh, we get a gold and a silver pack. That's not too bad. We also get uh, a, a Juventus player. I, um, I opened a few FIFA points worth 100k packs today. And uh, I, I basically run out of FIFA points apart from enough for one gold pack. And I opened the gold pack and got footies uh, Chalanoglu. So there's possibility. What do we get here? Oh, if that was Lam, that would have been nice. It's Geese. Um, there's possibility for something. You just, you just never know. And this is going to be our last pack. We'll see what we get. Really disappointed in myself there. I should be doing much, much better with that kind of team that I had. That formation just wasn't great. As I said, the formation was important and it wasn't a good formation. And our packs in general are absolutely tragic. Uh, Guzan and Samuel there, uh, the two players that we get as duplicates. So nothing really doing on that one. And I want to show you guys the draft, uh, the draft as it is right now as well. So... We have won 47 drafts out of 167 attempts, which isn't great, but it's not bad. We have done a few drafts where we've done silly drafts, a few drafts where I've quit to try and get better players. Um, but in general, I think that's a pretty decent record. 310 wins and 120 losses 
for the draft record. It could be a hell of a lot worse. And of course, we have 745,000 coins. And let me just show you what I've got in the club as well, just so you guys know that we, we're stacking some, some big, you know, a lot of coins. We've got 450 players. Of those, some of them are loans. Um, but then we have just got hundreds and hundreds of players that I just need to sell or discard, which I'll do throughout this week to try and uh, get everything back. But then even then, we've got so many consumables I've held on to all these consumables, and thankfully so, because now all these fitness cards, for example, these are like 2,300 coins now, maybe even 2,400, but 3,000 coin bid on that. They're literally 3,000 coins for a trading card. So we've got so many coins worth of stuff, um, which is awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of like, I just got a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of, basically. Another, another fitness card there, just a whole bunch of crap that we need to get rid of, which I'll start making a hole in a dent in this week at some point. But um, ultimately, guys, that was today's video. Like I said, if you want to see Draft the Glory every day this week, drop a thumbs up on the video. Smash 7777 for the likes. Bit of a dis disappointing uh, draft, but we did get Iron Man of the Match Ronaldo. That's the first time I've used him. Um, I, just disappointing. Just disappointing. Absolutely disappointed with today's performance from me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyway. This is going to be the end of the video, and I'm out. Peace.